It's a whole kind of vibe and lifestyle, you know. Like many Tucsonans, Ian Sugarman grew up coming to Rincon Market as a kid. Now he's the director of food operations at the historic spot in the heart of the Sam Hughes neighborhood. Opened at this very location in 1926, Rincon Market is one of Tucson's longest operating businesses. It's just always kind of been an artisan market, you know, that, that classic neighborhood market that is kind of disappearing in America. Rincon Market nearly disappeared after a fire in July of 2013. It took nearly an hour for TFD to put out the two-alarm electrical fire, but Rincon Market rose from the ashes, reopening less than a year later. Yes, we are completely open and everything now, the hours are normal and everything is just back to normal. A new and improved Rincon Market continues to thrive with even more changes in the past two years. Time Market owner Peter Wilkie and his wife bought Rincon Market in 2018. Ian is helping with the Wilkie's vision for the future of this nearly 100-year-old business. Some contemporary touches, but really a, a, a nod towards tradition in every way and, and really, like I said, trying to revitalize that spirit of the neighborhood market. Rincon Market has always been and continues to be more than just a neighborhood market, as I found on my tour. First stop, a place to satisfy my sweet tooth. We got our bakery department over here where they are making stuff fresh every single day, cranking out tons of cookies and pastries and cakes and pies. Yeah. Uh, they got a whole crew of folks back there just doing a lot of stuff. And as you can see, it's starting to get cleared out. We got our deli case, big, huge deli case where a lot of the stuff we make in-house. We also curate a lot of the olives and meats and cheeses. Sure. Over on the grocery side here, we got the produce department, which a lot of awesome stuff, tons of different types of mm -hmm. You know, seasonal squash right now, and then summertime. You know, tons of tons of different tomatoes, sure. heirlooms, and they just they really focus on keeping um, super high quality, mm -hmm. really seasonal, all the all the fun stuff that comes in and fresh. throughout the seasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we really focus on our sourcing. So whether it's local mm -hmm. or nearby, they have an extensive wine department and offer wine tasting events throughout the year. All departments are managed by true craftsmen. The best example is in the seafood department. Customers come from as far as Austin and Aramisio to get fresh fish from Yuri, a fixture at Rincon Market for well over 20 years. Just to get Yuri's fish. Yuri's fish, and we're getting minimum two, three times a day. Greatest selection, fresh. Well, it's the only place in town you walk in, you can't smell the fish. It's true. It's true. Believe me, I, I've been to all of them places. Yeah. And Yuri's the only guy in town that's got the freshest fish there is. And I buy it here twice every couple of times, once and twice a week. The same quality and attention to detail can be found in the meat department. The tour wraps up with the central focus of Rincon Market, where you can order breakfast and lunch, a very popular spot with the University of Arizona just blocks away. Really try to keep all the bases covered, and, and we try to make the restaurant a portrayal of what we're doing all over the market. Sure. So we have a lot of things coming over from the butcher, a lot of things coming over from Yuri. Yeah. You guys are just getting started and putting your imprint on this, but what's the future? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I like to say, you know, we've come a long way and uh, we've still got a long way to go. So we're really trying to just expand on what we've built upon. Ian, thank you for the tour. Thank Rincon you. Rincon Market is absolutely Arizona. I appreciate the tour. Thank you.